Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Escuenta Science. If you are new to here and want to learn about the food processing technology, please hit the subscribe followed by the bell. Today we are going to talk about food attitudes in the food industry. is one of the main basic human requirement of life. It is sourced mainly from plants or animals and also there are other minor sources such as fungi and algae. Mushroom is an example for fungi and spirulina is example for algae. When eating foods, people first eat with their nose then with their eyes, finally with their mouth. So, aroma, flavor and taste and appearance are all equally important in the appealing of foods. Therefore, in food productions, food additives are added to foods in order to keep proper sensory properties. So, let's see what are the food additives. They are natural or synthetic chemicals added to food to preserve flavor, enhance its texture or appearance, or for other technological functions. Food additives may have a natural origin in the sense that they may be found existing natural forming part of the indigenous component of the food, for an example, be true juice for coloring purposes. Or they may be synthetic but replicas of substances found naturally in the foodstuff, for an example, santan gram which is used as a food thickener or a stabilizer. It is created when sugar is fermented by a type of bacteria called Santomonas campestris. Also, they may be entirely artificial, which implies that they are synthetically produced and are not copies of any compounds found in nature. For an example, calcium benzoin. As we mentioned earlier, food additives are substances incorporated in edible products in order to perform specific roles and functions. Mainly, they can be categorized into four main groups. They are preservatives, processing additives, sensory additives, and nutritive additives. When we look at preservatives, we are adding them to inhibit microbial growth in order to preserve foods. They are mainly natural food preservatives, artificial food preservatives, and sequestrants. Plant antimicrobial extracts, derivatives from insects, microbial enzymatic derivatives, and cardosan conjugates are some examples for natural preservatives. Sorbic acid, Benzoic acid and their salts are some examples for artificial preservatives. In food industry, sequestrants such as organic or inorganic salts are used to preserve foods. I will discuss these food attitudes with more details in my future lessons. The second food attitude type is processing attitudes. These are used to get the required qualities of foods during food processing. Emulsifiers, stabilizers, gums, thickeners, gelling agents, food acids and acid regulators, anti-caking agents, humectants, anti-forming agents and glazing agents can be categorized under this type. Third food additive type is sensory additives. They are used to give good taste, appearance, and smell to foods. They are sweeteners, fragrances, 
flavoring agents or enhancers, food colors and color retention agents. Finally, nutritional attitudes. We can use them to improve nutritional quality of foods. They are minerals, mineral salts, vitamins, probiotics, prebiotics and symbiotics. In order to use food additives, in, it should be recommended by Codex Alimentarium Commission and approved by national legislations. The use of food additives is subjected to strict control underpinned by scientific studies to demonstrate their safety to human health. So, this is the basic overview of food attitudes. You should know about them with their applications. I will discuss them in our future videos. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this. Hope to catch you in next time with my next lesson and thanks for watching.